All right, what's up? Uh, so it looks like they didn't. Looks like they're gonna go to Yoshi's Brawl first as a starter because why is that a starter? Uh, but Neo and Cake versus E Minor and Dare Bear. This is. Uh, I'm not sure how this will play out. Actually, I'm uh, very obvious. I'm very biased towards Red Team. Uh, but I've been watching uh, Neo and Cake play, and they're no slouches, to say the least. Quick little combo from uh, Yoshi. Cookie. Oh, do I? Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Alright, I'm getting off then. And I'm. <laughs> Hello, checking in is Big M here. Uh, checking in to Loser's Finals here. So, here we have the two teams facing off here Eloy and Dare Bear versus. Uh, e Minor and Dare Bear versus Aunt Neo and Kate. So, Enough. So, ooh, and stock's flying here. Everybody's at 0%, so what? welcoming everybody to two stock here, we have it, an even game. So, a lot is happening here, and uh, it seems that e has been, I mean, e Minor has been playing a pretty passive game with the Buster on, racking up some percent. So, Man, so the Shulk, so E Minor is playing the Shulk right now, and Shulk is a pretty solid character. He has a lot of tools for the job, and oh, see the up air taking it there. Cake with a nice juggle up there, being able to take that stock from E Minor and make them in the lead by one stock. Uh oh, it seems Andy's off stage. He's being hit around. This could be the end of his stock. That down air gonna catch him, but. He's still living. Oh, man. They really want to take this stock. Red Team really wants to take this stock off of Andy, but he just won't let them as he dash attacks his own teammate, though, so that will equalize it. Oh, the back throw. Very key there. Now, Red Team only has two stocks to their name, while Blue Team's up by one. Oh, and the call out down B is going to take Neo stock there. Let's see what Blue Team can do to try to close this one out. Or if Red will mount a comeback here. So, a lot of different matchups going on here. It's, it doubles. It's very key that you're able to uh, string together hits, not only by yourself, but with your teammate. And as you can see, as we get higher and higher up in this bracket, more teams start to do that to rack up percent very easily and get kills. So... Uh, Darius's, uh, Dare Bear's, uh, shield's looking pretty low, but he's able to work his way out of that situation. And for Yoshi, just out of shield neutral air has been such a great tool. Oh, and the down air coming from Andy, almost out of nowhere, just able to take that stock. And now it's a pretty bad looking situation for E Minor here. Red Team needs to do something here for this 2v1. Uh oh, and the tilt attack's gonna take it there. And. Neo and Cake go up 1-0 here in Loser's Finals. So, I mean, coming from that match, you could just see how much Andy wants this win. I mean, he's out there taking stocks, taking names, doing everything he can, because that's just kind of how Ike plays. The big sword and the big damage that he can put out and the high knockback, being able to juggle between him and his teammate, the high damage output of Ness, just makes st taking stocks the easy part of the equation. So let's see what Red Team has to answer this. I mean, Elijah E Minor on uh, Shulk, always he always adapts. That's one of his greatest keys. One of his greatest uh, features is that pretty much mid match, mid stock, he can figure out what you're doing and adapt. And let's see what they will do here as we are here on Smashville, Game Two, Winners Finals. Let's go. So pretty standard start here. We got both players kind of brawling it out. And as you can see here, you know, 
Ness just putting on tons of damage on the red team right now. That PK fire just sends up or sends so much. It's very, it's a pretty darn good move, especially when it hits. Oh, and that back throw gonna send Darius in a bad situation. Let's see if he can make it back. He does. Oh, red team trying to pressure Neo's shield, but it just didn't work out and ended up having Darius get up smashed. Now, Ness's uh, up and down smash have unique properties where it's a yo-yo, so he sends it out and it becomes an active hitbox that can even hang off of ledge, as you saw him kind of do it there to Eloy a little, even minor a little bit earlier. Oh, and that's gonna take the stock. And Andy ready to equalize it immediately. Blue team is up one. Oh, the down throw. Looking for something. Oh man, that forward smash coming out from Shulk, it's so big, so large, and it has two hits to try to catch you in it. A pretty good tool to try to finish off stocks or catch people off guard. And oh, Andy making an a error there, SDing pretty early in his life. That doesn't spell well for Blue Team, but they could totally bring it back. Oh, and the PK Thunder 2 taking so many stocks there. Everybody's at one that all of a sudden. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Game two of Winners Finals. Not disappointing. And everybody's playing pretty safe here, pretty friends, because and the next thing they can do is hit in their stock. And you know, in Ultimate, it's a little bit different in doubles because you just really don't want it to be one. Actually, in any Smash game. But we'll see who can take off the first stock here, red team or blue team, who will prevail. Oh, and E Minor catching the Ike side B with a forward smash. That was pretty, pretty solid. And both teams just looking for an opening here. You know, throwing out moves, using jabs. Oh, and the up smash catching Cake at ledge. It's going to take his stock. And he's in a rough situation here. Let's see how he, how he handles it. I mean... Ike's sword is pretty big and beefy. I mean, particularly Yoshi does not enjoy having big swords in his face, but uh, but Shulk on the back end able to help out his teammates, so they should be able to clean it up here. Oh, and that laggy option is going to get punished pretty optimally there with a jab into up smash. Just looking to open up Andy, waiting for him to make his next mistake. And there it is, the roll on stage is gonna get punished by a forward smash. Dare, Dare Bear's gonna take that stock, leading us into game two, all tied up. Honestly, I've been liking this set so far. There's just so much explosiveness in, in uh, KO potential at the stage at once. I mean, all these players are very great and very good at what they do. I mean, they're in losers finals here, so the gameplay is going to be very quality. So here they, we have Neo and Cake tolling over what map they should ban. You know, stage is a pretty good thing to stage advantage is a very key thing in Smash Brothers if you are unaware. So it seems like they're going to Unova Pokemon League. This map is very similar to Pokemon Stadium, except, you know, a couple of slight differences uh, in the platforms and the fact that it has walls on the side. That allows a couple of characters to wall jump off of them and uh, possibly even tech off of them if they get hit into them. So let's see if that will play a factor here, starting up game three. Uh, All right, so I'll be signing out here for the time being. Please enjoy the match. And now it's time for Levin. Just kidding. Here you go. Hello. 
It's Freezer. Uh, so going into this game, it's uh, game three. Everyone's still on the first dock, except now that I just said that, uh, Choke has just lost his first dock. Uh, still a pretty even game at Yoshi at a low percent, and now actually red teams up. Uh, so what I kind of want to see more so here is Yoshi in front, just because Yoshi's more of like a combatant character. Or actually, now, now that I think about it, Yoshi can also sit back and uh, throw eggs as well. And I don't know what just happened to Ness over there. I think he sd <laughs> all the way on the right. <laughs> uh, so uh, I need to watch back and see what happened there. But uh, red team looking decent so far. They're up in a, they're up in one stock and. Uh, each stock matters a lot, while uh, percent you can easily rack up in a doubles game like this. So you want to always keep stocks ahead. Yoshi does not make it back. He didn't have a jump. He could have maybe air dodged, though, into the stage to grab it. I'm not surpri I'm surprised he didn't try that. Uh, red team has complete stage advantage. Ike is now on this last dog. See, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna start use, seeing the Yoshi use eggs more because eggs is a really powerful tool. And maybe the combo of like forward air, or at least set up for forward air and up air. See Shulk and Shield just so we can hold on to stock longer. Uh, red team still four stocks to three. And that's gonna kill him, that back throw. Actually, uh, Ike hit him right before the back throw, so it actually secured the kill easier. Kind of see like some one v ones going on here. Not really like, not really too much of doubles, but hey, sometimes uh, doubles go up to like this in one v one scenario. But now it's back to, uh, oh, now it's really back to the doubles part. Yoshi's down. Except no, he's actually uh, very heavy in this game, and managed to barely survive that. With good di, and he will die to that back here though. Now it's one stock to one stock. If uh, red team can uh, actually get this uh, kill off Ike, then they're pretty much going to secure this because in a two in a two v one in this scenario with very low percents, then it'll be very very difficult for blue team to come back. So they need to rack up percent on someone here. Ike's in a really really bad position. Oh my god. Okay, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah, I can get your uh, guys' audio from this. Uh, and while I looked away, uh, Ness has been down. Uh, this kind of looks almost near impossible. I really don't see it. I coming back from this unless he pulls off some miracle and maybe like edge guards Yoshi and kills him super early, or even gets the kill off Shulk. Yeah, okay. That's it. It's not. It's two to one. last game with the separate 1v1s, so now they kind of actually switched opponents. I, I've not really seen too much doubles play here, I'm seeing more 1v1s, which can be effective depending on how you square up against uh, one person on the other team. 
but generally, I think it's always good to try and get a 2v1 situation and throw the other team off the stage. Yoshi catching uh, Ness's landing with the uh, up smash there. Still decently close, even though blue team is down stock. They're at almost near kill percents with these two powerhouse teams. Especially Ness and Ike. Ike with those strong Nair up here confirms. Probably might kill both of them right now. Especially with Rage. I didn't know I just have anymore. <laughs> And Shulk tested being, I believe, but I wasn't looking all the way over there, but no one was over there, so I'm assuming he tested Smash! Smash mode, fourth throw, that will definitely kill. Now he's gonna go back to Buster. Get some damage on the other opponents. And uh, Yoshi, uh, 148, pretty much died to anything that the team could throw out. See, uh. Oh. See red team with full stage control right now. Stage control and doubles is actually extremely important because if you're able to keep that, then the team will struggle to get back that stage control. So you'll be able to rack up percent from them trying to get back on it. And the reason why stage control is so good is because uh, here, here, as you can see, if, you know, like in just a normal edge guard scenario, whoever has the advantage just tends to get like way more out of the scenario. And oh my gosh, that's actually dying at like 80%. That was. A combination of like S is more so lightweight, not super lightweight, but also a combination of horrible DI. I really surprised that killed. That backer is definitely gonna kill Yoshi. And uh, Ike, uh, really in trouble. It looks like Shulk's gonna probably go for the Ike here since he's just matching out of because ooh, I'm surprised he didn't die right there. And uh, actually, Shulk in this game, what you just saw, uh, when he side Bs uh, in Smash 4, it, he actually uh, went past the ledge, but now he actually grabs the ledge when he's doing side B. And uh, Red Team looks like they may focus Ike here, except now they have full stage control. Ike uh, has a game right there, right at the end. It's really unfortunate. Now, uh, Ness is going to have to make a three stock comeback just to get a look real bad. There's a. Uh, He's gonna have to pull some kind of miracle. That's back. That's gonna kill. Oh, it's a three to one victory for Game Miner there, there. So now we'll have to play against uh, Leventation and myself. So uh, we'll see how that goes. A good set though.